We're really excited here at Marwell to have fired up our new biomass boiler that takes waste from our own animals and turns it into heat for some of our larger buildings. Using heat in this way from our own animals is unique in the UK and as far as we know across the world. We measured our first carbon footprint in 2008 and the result was 1,706 tonnes of carbon dioxide emitted every year. We then were able to draw up a plan for how we were going to reduce that down to net zero and our target year was our 50th anniversary which is next year. Drawing up the plan enabled us to identify which were all our largest sources of emissions and we found that our buildings that were heated with fossil fuels were amongst the biggest source of carbon dioxide in the zoo and that's what spawned the idea of this boiler that would use our own waste material to produce that heat in replacement of the fossil fuels. Uh, we grow much of our own hay here on site in the fields that surround Marwell. We're able to grow something like 2,500 uh, bales of hay every year, which we feed to the larger animals in amongst the hoofstock. And we also cut leafy browse material from the trees and woodlands uh, that also surround the zoo and some of the smaller tree areas within the zoo. We're able to manage those areas both for their wildlife benefit, for the benefit of things like butterflies and bees and other insect life, and also the woodlands for the birds and the smaller mammals, as well as producing the material for the animals. Our keepers sweep up uh, dung from the paddocks and from within the animal houses every morning. And then we have a mini refuse truck, much like you'd see your local council using emptying your own bins, that collect the waste from the animal houses and bring it round to the energy centre. And so the mixture of uh, manure and bedding is unloaded into a bay within the energy centre and then a large digger loader collects it from there and shovels it into a shredder. So shredding, mixing and drying of the waste is really important to get the right consistency of material to go into the boiler. So the shredder performs two functions. It mixes the waste so we get a homogeneous mixture of all the different types of materials that have come from the different animals and it shreds down to a much smaller particle size that is then suitable to be dried and briquetted. It's then put through a drying process that reduces the moisture content down to around 10 to 15 percent and that's very important to make sure our briquettes then hold together to be fed into our boiler. So the boiler produces hot water that's fed into a very large storage tank about 15,000 litres. The heat is used to feed the dryer that drives the next batch of waste ready for burning and then the bulk of the heat goes across into a heat network which feeds into the building behind me to keep our animals warm. We have a wide range of species of birds, mammals and reptiles that all benefit from the warm temperatures that we can't achieve in an English climate and it's also lushly planted with tropical plants which all need that warm humid environment. The next phase of this project is then to connect this building with several other buildings across the zoo that will then provide heat for our carpi, for the animals in our Life in the Trees exhibit, like the lemurs, and also some of the staff in Marwell Hall and the associated outbuildings. This will reduce our carbon footprint by over 200 tonnes per year by replacing oil-fired heating systems in the buildings that will now be heated by waste from our own animals. And what better way to make use of a waste material that's in abundant and continuous supply here at Marwell Wildlife?